Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, guys today I want to show you uh, how the relative and the absolute property in uh, CSS actually work. When should you actually keep an element absolute, uh, HTML uh, element absolute, when should you keep an HTML element relative, how, how uh, you know these properties actually work. Uh, in fact, I have a document already ready which is spinup.html and uh, let me show you a publish in fact let me show you a preview in uh, firefox first guys have a look out here let's assume that the div right in the center of the page some uh, somewhat in the center of the page uh, is a pin up board and you see that there are four pins which are tucked in the corners of the uh, the pin up board or the division it's actually a division it's a div guys all right and if i were to go back to the document and uh, we have a rule out here which is spin up board. If I were to change the position from a relative, let's say, to a static, which is default, guys, you'll see that the pins have actually left the bounds of the um, the div or the division. And uh, let me show you how things look like right now. So now you can see that the uh, pins are actually spread apart and they have taken to the corners. All right, they have uh, come off the bounds of the div or the division or let's assume it's a pinup board so it's they have left it why uh, has this behavior happened is what i'm going to talk about so i'm going to create a fresh document guys let me go back to dreamweaver right so guys uh, i have another document open position property dot html in which i have all that i've done out here is give it a title i give it a title relative and absolute position properties and that's all that i've done and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the same project afresh and uh, that'll make it very easy for you to understand exactly what uh, am I talking about, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say insert uh, layer objects div tag, all right? Let me give it an ID to uni uniquely identify the div and let me go with, um, mm, let's say, pin up board, all right? After which I'll click on the new CSS rule button. Uh, you can see that the contextual selector is an ID, which is fine. You need either a class or a or an ID to identify the div. All right. Uh, since it's an ID, Dreamweaver automatically puts a hash sign and give, gives it a name pinup board. And you can see that the new rule is getting saved itself in this document only, which means a new internal style will be created let me say okay and after which guys uh, i'm gonna go to the box category let me give this div or division a size let me go with let's say 600 by 600 pixels all right um, as far as the top margin is concerned let me go with 120 i beg your pardon uh let me go with 125 and as far as left and right margins are concerned let me set them to auto that will make sure that the div of the division actually uh, centers itself left right horizontally all right and uh, let me also give it a border let me say a ridge 10 px uh, pound sign triple three triple three right let me say okay let me say okay once again and let me remove the text completely right after which let me save and show you a preview in Firefox <coughs> sorry mm, uh, yep yeah, there you go so guys uh, there you have the um, the preview as it looks like in the browser alright so now let me uh, close the uh, preview window and let me go back to Dreamweaver. Now guys, um, what I'm going to do is let me in fact for the time for some time go to the code view, right guys, I'm actually working with Dreamweaver CS55 and I'm using the classic workspace guys, my favorite workspace, right. I'm going to do a little bit of hand coding now guys, alright. So let me go right inside the dev. Right. Let me hit the enter button uh, a few times and uh, after which let me 
uh, insert the image all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna use the img tag all right after which guys i need to point to the actual picture so i need to use the src attribute all right uh, i need to browse for the image so i'm gonna hit enter a uh, button on the keyboard let me point to the exact picture that i'm looking for uh, which is the image of the spin right after which guys I should as a good practice use the alternate or the uh, uh, the alt tag and uh, alt attribute I'm sorry let me say alternate text let me say just a pin right and let me give it a uh, you know a class as well so I'm gonna use the class attribute I'm gonna set it to abs1 this class does not exist is non-existent at the moment but it will uh, in a while guys right so uh, yep so that's that's pretty much it let me close the uh, the image tag right and let's take uh, let's go to the split view and you can actually see how things look like right now right guys what I'm gonna do is let me copy line number 26 at control C and uh, then I'm gonna paste it just down below in the next line and uh, let's you, you can actually see how things are shaping up and let's do it uh, once again and uh, the, the fourth time the final time you can actually see that there are four uh, pins that are lined next to each other adjacent to each other from left to right all right and uh, now I'm gonna make a change out here so in line number 26 you have the class called abs1 I'm gonna change the next line to abs2 to then the next one to abs3 and uh, the fourth one you got it to abs4 right but uh, none of the classes actually exist guys and uh, since they don't then nothing has been affected on the web page if I take a preview now in uh, Firefox you can actually see that uh, they are all lined next to each other let me go back to Dreamweaver right now guys I'm gonna select the first pin which is on the extreme left right I'm gonna hit this uh, plus button to create a new CSS rule automatically the contextual selector will be set to compound uh, and the selector name will be picked up as uh, or auto populated as pinup board uh, dot abs1 and uh, right here in the description clearly says this the selector name will apply your rule to all HTML elements with class uh, abs1 or absolute one that are within any HTML elements with ID pinup board right and as you can clearly see that uh, you know the rule will be saved as an internal or an embedded rule if I choose new style sheet then it will be an external uh, CSS file but since I've, chose, I've chosen the default which is this document only it'll be an, an internal or an embedded room right let me say okay and um, next what I'm gonna do is guys I'm gonna go to the um, the positioning category I'm gonna set the position to an absolute right after which guys once you set the position of an element to an absolute from a static see if nothing is mentioned it was static if it, it was empty earlier and which means that it was static now I've changed it to absolute and then once you do that guys this placement uh, category actually starts to function so now if I uh, put a value out here let's say top two pixels and uh, left two pixels now they actually start to take effect if I hit the apply uh, you can see that the pin has actually vanished <laughs> we'll soon see where it's uh, exactly gone never mind let me say okay and let me take a preview in let's say um, Firefox my preferred browser so uh, guys have a look out here that it stuck itself in the left top uh, corner of the uh, the screen of the web page now <coughs> you see what happens when an element is set to absolute then uh, as I said the uh, the the 
the position property starts to function and we have set it to uh, left two pixels top two pixels uh, an absolute element becomes a floating element it then is removed from the normal flow of uh, things okay it leaves the normal flow it becomes a floating element and then it becomes relative to the outer parent in in, in some cases it does not become relative to the outer parent and we'll soon see when it does not uh, for the moment uh, you need to know that it's taken away from the normal flow of things that's why it's actually left the bounds of the div and uh, it's displaced itself two pixels from the left of the web page and two pixels from the the top of the, the web page right cool let me go back to reviewer and uh, guys uh, let me select the second image like this in the code area right after which guys I'm gonna hit the plus button to create another CSS rule it's a compound rule once again guys the contextual selector is a compound the selector name has been auto populated as a pound sign pen board space uh, period dot apps two, and it's again an internal or an uh, embedded style let me say okay and I'm gonna follow the same uh, routine so category positioning set the position to an absolute uh, set the, the placement top to a uh, two pixels but this time uh, it's if it's top two then it's a uh, right two as well all right so top two pixels right two pixels so let me say up say okay rather and uh, you can actually see that even the second pin has left the boundaries of the uh, division of the div which is a static div guys and it has uh, gone to the corner of the web page right let me save things up and next guys let me select the third pin let me click on the plus button again it's a compound rule pin up board uh, apps 3 internal or embedded rule all right you can see all these rules are uh, internal or embedded uh, in the head of the document guys sandwich in the opening and the closing style tags let me say okay and again this time the same routine the categories uh, positioning the position is absolute and the placement uh, instead of top I'm gonna say bottom two and left two and let me say okay and you can actually see it's also left the boundaries and it's gone to this corner right let me select the fourth pin plus button okay uh, positioning category position to an absolute uh, this time the bottom is two pixels and the right is two pixels sorry uh, out sure this is right let me say okay and you can actually see that all the four pins have actually uh, come off the boundary of the division and have uh, placed themselves in all the four corners of the web page right now I'm gonna play a trick guys I'm gonna go to the uh, division which has an idea of pinup board all right and out here you see the properties for uh, the pinup board okay and if I double click let's say let's say I double click and go to the positioning and see guys if if nothing is mentioned you can be sure that the position is static see if I say apply uh, nothing changes at all all right the pins are still outside the division but the moment I change it to uh, a relative and I hit apply you can actually see all the four pins have come right inside the division and have tucked themselves in the uh, four corners of the division let me show you a preview in Firefox <coughs> sorry so guys why have the pins which were actually tucked to, you know which were uh, uh, displaced two pixels uh, from the corners of the web page are now displaced two pixels from the corners of the uh, div the division see what happens when an absolute element is placed inside a relative element then it becomes a relative to the parent which is the div in our case and not the body 
if if that is not the case if the let's say the parent is static in which case uh, it will fly off and then it becomes relative to the uh, the body of the web page itself so to contain uh, and position uh, absolute elements you have to make sure that they are confined in a in an element which is actually relative all right and even if even if guys this uh, you know pound sign pinup board was not uh, a, let's say a relative uh, positioned uh, element even if it was an absolutely positioned element all right let's see how uh, that changes uh, the equation let me take a preview up in uh, in, in, in Firefox all right so what has happened out here uh, the pins are still uh, you know two pixels away uh, from the uh, what do you call uh, two pixels away from the the corners of the division but since uh, it's an absolutely positioned element the outer div is uh, so it's an you know th there are four uh, images which are absolutely positioned inside a, a bigger div which is again absolutely positioned so an absolutely positioned uh, bigger div is actually taken away it becomes a floating element guys you see this uh, division pinup board then becomes uh, a floating uh, element and uh, you know an absolutely positioned div since it does not have the uh, you know the top right bottom and uh, left uh, you know uh, placements mentioned it will tuck itself in the uh, left corner let me go to the box category out here you can see that it does not honor the uh, right auto and the left auto but it does actually honor the top uh, 125 pixels all right so uh, an absolutely positioned div will not uh, honor this guys will not honor the automatic uh, margins set so that, that that's one of the reasons that it's actually gone and tucked itself uh, in the uh, left corner of the page all right uh, but as you can see that uh, the pins are still well within the bounds of the division so guys uh, this tutorial was an attempt to show you how you know elements behave when they are either static or relative or uh, position absolute we haven't discussed uh, the fixed uh, position but that's for another tutorial guys uh, so i hope you like this tutorial Hope you learned something from it and I hope to see you very soon with uh, yet another tutorial uh, in Dreamweaver or it could be a Flash with Action Script 3. Have a good day guys. Bye-bye. Peace.